this is Judith for Golden Speed, and I'm so happy that I'm here today with Minerva Fabian Hase and Nikita Volodin. And they just won both of their Grand Prix assignments in their first season together. How are you feeling? Super good. Uh, still in shock and still not realized everything, I think. Um, it will take some time um, to realize everything, but for now, just super grateful. Yeah, our plan uh, was go to final. And uh, yesterday we do our plan and some <coughs> Uh, and we was very happy, and now also, uh, and uh, we ready to more push for the future. For you, Nikita, it was even the first Grand Prix season in, in Germany. For me, it's first uh, season in Master. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After Junior, it's yeah. Okay. I don't know how it works. <laughs> you got a Master and into Grand Prix. Yeah, you won both an ESPO and an NHK trophy, but you really stepped it up a lot for NHK <laughs> trophy. What do you think made the difference here in Japan? Um, I think we were like a little bit more relaxed um, because we were in a pretty good position after the first place in Espo. Um, so yeah, all the nerves were a little bit more calm. Um, but also here it was just more like our practice. Um, yeah, practice. I don't know the word. <laughs> It, it, it was more like in practice. At it home. was more like in practice at home. That's yeah. good said. <laughs> um, so we knew that we can skate like this, and uh, we were just happy that we could show in front of a Japanese crowd uh, a good skate. Yeah. Was there any difference for you? Uh, I think here we don't be nervous. How mm -hmm. in Finland we have experience, and uh, yeah. I always uh, ask myself, "You ready? Yes. You you ready more?" And uh, uh, we can see result. Uh, we can do clean shot first time, I think, and uh, very almost clean yeah, free almost program. Clean free program yeah. <laughs> so there's still something to improve for the final. Yeah. You get to that in a moment. But I heard Nikita, you had some boot issue. Maybe you can tell what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you can also tell it. Yeah. <laughs> After six uh, minutes uh, warm up, we skip our boots and some activation, small, mm -hmm. and uh, before five minutes, uh, then uh, five minutes to go to uh, ice. ice. Yeah. Uh, we have some confused with my boots. Yeah, uh, the hook broke. Uh, hook broken. Yeah. And uh, uh, I some afraid in this moment, but uh, our coach, Dimitri, it uh, was so calm, and uh, uh, he go directly and um, find something yeah put and, the scissor uh, yeah so he uh, and, uh, he put uh, with the with the scissor a hole in the and the hole yeah, in the yeah. boot yeah and, uh, put the laces through and, and, and so quick three minutes yeah three it minutes, was crazy yeah. and uh, <laughs> my partner some uh, yeah i was so nervous afraid, <laughs> yeah uh, she she don't want to show it yeah <laughs> she said on come but i feel yeah. no <laughs> yeah i was just walking away i was like okay let them do their things like i would just concentrate on myself i cannot do anything but dima yesterday was the real hero of our team like without uh, him yeah sometimes it's happening but it's grand prix it's, it's uh, yeah it's so special, important competition. yeah it's yes. special uh, situation. i have some confused in nebel fun trophy with my laser it's uh, then i go to short program one laser broken and I do something. Laser, it's not so much problem. And uh, I, and another. <laughs> and <laughs> with my person, don't, don't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it. I would, would freak out. <laughs> but it was a uh, great competition, both. Nibelhorn Trophy, you won. Yeah, you, you won. maybe. So maybe that's distracting a little bit from. <laughs> yeah, who speed. knows? Yeah. Who knows? I mean, I was just so happy that he went on the ice and did like a, such amazing program. Like, I didn't expect, like, I didn't expect anything after this. I was like, okay, we just go on the ice and skate and let's see what happens. So I'm like really proud how you like end up doing the clean free. So yeah. after this happens, I just go, okay. Yeah, it it's doesn't matter don't anymore. Really bad today. Yeah. <laughs> <Just going. laughs> I guess that it was even more uh, relief when yeah. you got through the skate. And you uh, scored over over 200 points. Yeah. I think that's a great benchmark. <laughs> yeah, like um, that's that's I think every skater is like dreaming of that 200 mark line. Um, it's not easy to beat. Um, so we were like even more happy to to have reached this goal. It was one of our goals for the season, 
Now it's just the 17 points in the short program missing and then we basically already have most of our goals accomplished. So it was another step in the right direction in our skating together. Uh, for us it's very important to score uh, because 200 it's uh, level to one step to business class. Yeah, <laughs> how Schubert always said. Not, not, not so much pace in the world can be yes. more. Uh, and it's very important, judges like us and give points for us and we have uh, good quality elements uh, and I'm so happy we... and it's not our maximum, we understand it. We yeah. need to work and uh, work more from this short program now yeah. and uh, let's see, we can even take more. more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just heard like 70 points in the short is another goal <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah, you even had some mistakes, small mistake in the free so uh, yeah, you can really score even higher, I think. Um, you said uh, you didn't really know yet what to expect or like uh, after the press conference you said you didn't know what to, how the next two weeks will look like. Did you figure that out by we now? We figured it out. We will go back to Berlin. Mm -hmm. um, there was possibility to stay here, um, but we just feel after two weeks of back-to-back -back competition we want to go back home. Yeah. Just sleep in our bed, like relax for one second um, and then start fresh into the practice for Grand Prix final. I think it's just the better decision. So yeah, going back to Berlin and then the week after on Monday evening probably going to Beijing. Yeah, so I don't think it's a lot of practice sessions, right? No, I think we, we're going to land on Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. I think we're probably going to do a day off there mm -hmm. and then start Wednesday. So basically four or five days of practice. But it's okay. Like um, we talked with our coach, he also said that we're fit, like we're in shape. So we don't need that much practice. It's just like keeping the level and like some small details. So yeah, that's the plan. Did you have, do you have any specific goals for the final now? <laughs> we didn't talk about it yet, actually. <laughs> I mean, since it's our first final, um, I think we just want to go there, do as best as possible, show our um, our cap capability. Um, yeah, a skate like here would be nice. If it's not happening, it's also fine. Um, yeah, we just want to do our best and enjoy the first final. You are already skating on quite high technical standards, I think, for the pairs right now. But do you dream of any elements maybe adding to your uh, arsenal and you want to work on something maybe for the future to step it up? Slip throw? Yeah, <laughs> slip throw is uh, one thing I want to learn for sure. I didn't mm -hmm. do it till now. Like I did try some with Nolan, um, but mm -hmm. not consistently. So that's a big goal for me and also like get the twist level four. It's still level three because my split is not counting. So this is another goal. And then like clean up all also the small elements. We have uh, some levels missing in the dev spiral and uh, the free program. So like just add the levels to have hopefully everything level four at one point in our yeah, career. Yeah, for us important step by step, all elements uh, yeah. to maximum level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. to uh, take maximum points. points for this program. Yeah, yeah. and I think and maybe also... maybe after we can try next elements. It's, yeah. it's not maximum also. We can try quad twist maybe. But <laughs> yeah, it, it's, in the it's future. future. Yeah. But uh, you can always update and update your status. Mm -hmm. And I think we can also um, be better in skating skills. Like we have still some points left there. In the short program, we just have like around 30 um, components, so I guess there's also some some more points to add to there. Um, so we will also work a lot of our skate on our skating skills and like like expression overall. Minerva, you told after the Grand Prix in Espo that you feel uh, for the first time, or like you really feel now that you can reach the top, um, and you, that makes you more nervous. Maybe yeah. you can elaborate more on both of these points. Um, yeah, I mean. Count, like counting myself now to more of the top skaters in pair skating is something totally new which I always want to achieve uh, in the past so I'm just really grateful that with Nikita this is possible now. Um, it's something I have to adapt to um, because it's always like 
I think like also the Italian Sara and Nicolo always said, it's it's not easy to, to get this new rule to be the chased one uh, and not chasing anymore. Um, but I like this role. Like I love competition. I just love skating in front of um, the audience. So for me, it's it's a good feeling to go there and maybe the one or the other just came to see me. It's like a nice feeling and I, I have the feeling I can give something for figure skating, which was also my dream always, just to yeah, inspire people uh, for the sport and like just make them happy skate, seeing me skating. So I, I just love this role and I really want to feel um, yeah, grateful for this one. Yeah, and this is what you like both of you work for like yeah. your entire life. So you should enjoy the yeah. moment that <laughs> we you enjoy are it. there now. Um, maybe let's go back a little bit. Uh, how did you two meet and how did you team up? Uh, it uh, was in February, uh, maybe 2022 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2022, uh, yeah. for me, co coach mm -hmm. Dimitri Savin, I, I know him, but uh, in this moment, I skating at another coach, St. Petersburg, and uh, he said, I know you don't have a partners. Maybe, no, I have a so good girl. <laughs> and said, who is it? And uh, he said, uh, don't connect with uh, she before world. Uh, and uh, after world, uh, we talk about it so much time. And uh, uh, both said, okay, let's try. But the uh, way to Germany is so hard in this moment. Yeah. But I do it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And um, after we skating five days, uh, first day it's okay, feeling, second also, third better, four it's was. And, <laughs> and last day we do all, and I think, yeah. It's yes. <laughs> it's a yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a match. <laughs> it's a match, yes. Uh, so I guess you knew her before as a, as a skater. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's my lovely partner. <laughs> Did you also know about him before? Um, yes, I knew that he skated in Junior Grand Prix um, because Robert with um, his old partner were skating at the same time with Talisa. So I watched some Junior Grand Prix and mm -hmm. I saw him. But I like rewatched every uh, videos um, and see like how his jumping ability and like how his skating skills. Because I just heard that he was junior, so I was like, "Ooh, like is he material for senior already?" Um, but yeah, after I saw him jumping and some videos, I was like, "Yeah, let's let's at least do a tryout and check if it's possible or not." Um, I waited till afterwards to decide for me if I want to continue skating with Nolan or not. So for me, it was a little bit later, everything. Um, but yeah, I think then end of April, beginning of May, I also decided, let's do it. Let's do a tryout and see where it's going. And so you had like a year or even more of preparation before you <sighs> were able to do competitions. <laughs> Yeah, you might think that we have a lot of time, but there were some uh, problems. Like first he had a show contract, so we had three months no skating at all. Then he was back in Germany for like maybe two months. Then he went back, then he came back. Then it was like I had army and he had his university. So, I mean, we built programs like our free program pretty early, um, but we started actually preparing for the new season in June this year mm -hmm. um, because we had like so much breaks. Um, we built a new short program at the end of June. So the short program is also not so new. So in, at the end, it was not one year. It was maybe like five months of practice before our first competition in, in total. Yeah, so like a more or less normal off season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you seem to be very prepared from your first competition on. Let's talk a bit about your programs. Um, you said the short program Minerva is a mini program, yeah. <laughs> very it suitable is. to your style. Can you talk a bit about more about that? Um, yes, like with my old partner, I always skated soft music because it was just something it fit for us. Um, we tried another short program, which I didn't feel comfortable with. So I asked to change it again and put a mini program. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh, right now, I think our free program is much stronger because it fits us as a team more and it's not just fitting me, it fits mm -hmm. both of us. 
So I guess um, that will be like the last mini program for a while now, <laughs> um, which I'm happy about because like I also wanted to try something new with the free program. We tried something new now. It worked better and uh, everyone loves it. So I think next season we will try something new with the short program. For this season, I will just enjoy skating um, mini style, maybe for the last time and um, yeah, just giving the emotions to the audience. Is the, I mean, you just said the long program fits both of you, but would you consider that your style? Like the... the... Mm, my style, it's uh, not about soft, it's uh, strong. Yeah, it's, energetic. It's yeah. Push music, maybe, maybe for short, something um, funny music, you know, something yeah. happy and mm -hmm. energy also. It's what I want to see, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Mina style looks also <laughs> so, so good. She feels so much, and uh, for partners very important. Just show the girl, <laughs> girl, yeah. And I yeah, just lifting, and she can, she smile <laughs> because uh, always uh, judges and uh, uh, people more looks to the partners. Um, so you just said like funny style. That would be something very new for both of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're trying it right now with the show program. It's a little bit more funny style. Um, it's fun to skate. Um, I love it. Nikita is like a showman, so he will he will for sure do a great shot on uh, fun music. Um, I think it will be for me a challenge to relax more then because you just have to put more emotions into fun music. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're here to develop ourselves as a team. So I guess this is maybe a next step to get better. Are there any other styles you're thinking of that could be possible for the future? Um, yeah, I, I always say it. Let's see if it's happening. I want to have a tango at one point. <laughs> um, if it's not happening, it's fine. It's just like a little dream of mine. Um, I don't know, every time when I see Moulin Rouge, it's like, for me, perfection, tango. Like, I, I um, saw it at Tessa and Scott. It was just like my dream free program. So I'm every time like, oh, maybe one day. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, if it doesn't fit for both of us, it's not going to happen. If we say we want to try it, we will try it. If it's a show, then it's a show. So no pressure. But that would be something I would be looking forward to. I think you have quite a lot of seasons ahead, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so you maybe have the chance. Uh, what would you say is your long-time objective, your long-time goals for your partnership? <laughs> long-time goal, Olympics. Olympics? Uh, no, Oli Olymp yeah. yeah. Now, now it's uh, aim, it's Olympics. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now it's so far, but... Comes yeah. faster. Step, step by step. Step by yeah. step, yeah. I and, mean, uh, and after... We will decide, I think. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, if we still feel good and our bodies feel good, um, why, I would. Why, why, why not? not? Um, yeah, why not skate another circle of Olympics? Um, if we feel like we have accomplished everything and want to do one season off and do shows, then we will do that. We will plan now till Olympics, skate hopefully there, get the passport in time, and then after we will decide new. <laughs> So yeah, let's talk about that because right now you're not a German citizen yet, Nikita. How is that process and when do you hope to get this citizenship? Uh, now this process worked. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do step by step and now I have a... Uh, what's documents? Um, and how often tides teacher, yeah. it's like permanent stay in Germany. Um, so he has it for, for three, three years, years now. And after we can do... Yeah. Best, okay, after. No, not after. It's like, it's just for three years. Um, yeah. He has to do the German test, um, which we will try to get next year. Um, mm -hmm. So after the season, we will try to get him a German coach. So he like really works on his German. Um, and then it's going to be tight, I think, with the passport. But it's possible to get it in front of in Olympics. Olympics. Um, more, I don't know, more I cannot say. Just that we hope that we made it in time. Uh, maybe a bit more about your training situation. You're kind of the last pair, I think, in Berlin. <laughs> yeah. And there you're training with uh, Knut Schubert and Rico Rex, is that correct? Yes. But at competitions, you're with Dimitri Sabin. 
Yes, um, so it's hard to work together with Dima outside um, of competitions because we cannot go to Russia, uh, or at least I cannot go. Yeah. And for him, he has his um, yeah his um, point in Sochi, so it's also hard for him to travel. Um, I think we both like to practice in Berlin. Um, Knut Schubert is like our main coach there. Um, he, he has a lot of experience, um, a lot of pair skating experience as a coach and as a skater. So um, we are really happy for him, having him there. He's like kind of my, um, my little Yoda. We always call him Yoda. <laughs> not, not little, yeah, but we always call him Yoda because he's like so wise. Like he knows so much. It, it doesn't matter which question, he always has an answer, yeah. um, which is really good. Um, he knows when to stop us because we're doing too much. He knows when it's time to push. So we're just really, really lucky for him. We have Rico Rex there, um, who's also in the team, um, who is planning a lot for us, like trying to make life as easy as possible so we can focus on the practice, um, doing everything around. We have our athletic coach, Martin, who is uh, keeping us in shape beside the eyes and pushing us even more. Um, and then we have all our dancing coach. We have our dancing coach, Fabienne, who is doing arms uh, and try to work on our expression. And then we have Paul Wall, our lovely choreographer, who is working really hard, really, really hard. Love goes out there. Yeah. Um, no, who's like after every competition watch our program like really run hundred times and already text us like one day later, oh, I have this arm, this head, we have something new here, something to add there. So he's like really working hard to make the program looks good and involve them over the season. So yeah, the whole team, Dimitri at competitions, who just knows me for so many years and knows how yeah, how to take me on competitions. Um, it's just an amazing team. We love every one of them and so grateful that we yeah built this team for us it sounds really good and you said when you teamed up you found out you're the match you're a match yeah. so i want to finish with that <laughs> what makes you such a good match <laughs> what makes us a good match good match yeah good. why are we a good fit good team <laughs> good team i think we both like all, to work all, all the work all yeah. support it's uh, all happy. It's, it's <laughs> no, why, why we both? Why we both make a good team? We funny. Yeah, we funny. <laughs> no. uh, we funny. We same pushing and uh, uh, same attention. If I do something, she also do so much something, <laughs> and it works. Yeah. And sometimes she help me if uh, she feel better. Yeah. yeah. And. Yeah, I think it's also good that we're like same age. So um, we're like basically on the same level of like our fitness. <laughs> um, no, it's like, it's sometimes and really... Shit, you know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I think it's, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a plus. Um, like you said, we're just working hard together as a team, um, which is nice. Um, of course, we discuss sometimes, but it's like always in a nice environment um, and like two seconds after we laugh again and just like okay let's let's go do another one like don't think about it too much it's just nice to work with him and um, yeah I think we're good we're a good match like and to end up this uh, interview perfect so we wish you so much luck for the final I Thank think the you. sport is very happy like very uh, happy to have you as a new team Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> See you soon. See you. See you. <laughs>